नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑफ क्वालिटी ऑफ इंडिया माय सेल्फ आर एन विश्वकर्मा एंड इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर ओवरऑल इक्विपमेंट इफेक्टिवनेस सो दिस इज अ वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर फॉर एनी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट ओवरऑल इक्विपमेंट इफेक्टिवनेस दिस इज यूज बाय प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट मेंटेनेंस डिपार्टमेंट एंड फिनांस डिपार्टमेंट फॉर असेसिंग द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आइडेंटिफाइंग ग्रे एरियाज एंड मेकिंग इंप्रूवमेंट so this has been proven as a very important indicators for any organization who wants to become a world class organization and uh, when we talk about total productive maintenance or tpm oe is a part of tpm and uh, in fact uh, the automotive industries quality management system standard that is iata 16949 now talks about uh, oe not in uh, uh, much detail but it recommends oe to be measured as a part of tpm clause so we are going to talk about that uh, after some time now let's explore uh, and talk about why this oe is important for any organization so when we talk about any productive environment so for any organization the organization they would always want that they should be operating at 100% of the capacity and 100% of the time say for an example if you talk to a production guy the production manager would typically say that i want the machine to be available for me whenever i want to make production 100% of the time so this is what the expectation from any production guys now how this can be achieved so for that there is a very good matrix which we are going to explore uh, in this program that is oe and this talks about certain elements and how that needs to be calculated and further analyzed we are going to talk about that also so as i have told you about uh, iata 16949 this is uh, automotive industry quality management system standard so in iatf the clause number 8.5.1.1 this talks about total productive maintenance we are not going to talk about uh, the clause in detail but if you go through the clause there are some recommendations and it says that documented maintenance objective so it recommends certain matrices which needs to be measured by the maintenance team or by the organization uh, it is up to the organization to decide who is basically going to monitor so it talks about overall equipment effectiveness over here and uh, parallel to that it also talks about mean time between failure mean time to repair and preventive maintenance compliance so we are going to focus about oe so you can see here the importance of oe so automotive industry which is uh, known to be a very matured industry and very systematic industry now oe is included as a part of the quality management system itself so what exactly is overall equipment effectiveness or oe so when we talk about oe the world class level for oe for any organization is uh, higher than 85% so if your machine's oe is 85% or more than that you can say that that particular machine or assembly or line is operating at a very optimum level it doesn't mean that there is no opportunity for further improvement you can further improve because ultimate aim should be to go to 100% of course but if your oe of the particular machine is beyond 85% you can say that you are working at a very convenient level very optimum level and this is said to be a world class level so now when we talk about oe it is a very important performance indicator not only for production because production guy they need to improve the efficiency of their line and for that they need to focus on certain elements for making improvement it is also going to help maintenance guy because the role of maintenance is also to ensure that Uh, the machine is available 100% of the time for production team whenever they want it for production and also for quality because one of the critical element as a part of oe measurement is quality we are going to talk about all the elements of uh, oe in a short while so production quality maintenance and finance also why finance so finance guy they are always interested about the profit and loss of any company okay so oe is very essential matrix which will tell you if the organization is performing well or not if oe of the machine or the line is operating at more than 85% then finance department they can also say that the company is doing well if it is not operating at that level that means that there are still gaps and which needs to be identified so generally in bigger organization where there are management review meetings or regular monthly meetings by top management so the top department heads they would be sitting together and finance guy would be asking question uh, why the performance is down over here we are not making profit or there are losses because of this and that so oe is one of the very essential matrix over there 
for discussion because it not only covers the, the availability of machine, it also talks about quality, it also talks about the performance factors, okay. So various important factors are uh, integrated into OE measurement. Now talking about the mathematical representation of OE or if you want to explore how OE can be calculated. So it is basically a multiplication of three factor. The first one is availability, availability of machine. Second is uh, performance and third is quality, okay. So availability of the machine for which the calculation is uh, done and performance of the machine, okay, or the process and third is the product quality because it is not only important to make the machine available or increase performance but the quality of the product coming out from the process should be also good, okay. So this should be also 100 percent, this should be also 100 percent. 100% quality, 100% performance and 100% availability. That is the ideal scenario. If that is so, then your OE would be 100 percentage. But there won't be any case wherein you are getting 100% in all the area. There would be some issues here and there which needs to be analyzed properly and then you need to investigate and initiate action for continual improvement. Now let us explore these elements one by one and now let us talk about uh, availability first. So the first element is availability. So how to calculate availability? So the formula for calculating availability of the machine is available time minus downtime divided by again available time. So this is the same element. So what exactly is available time? So we are going to consider one uh, sample case. The formula for calculating available time is total time minus planned downtime. So what is going to be your total time? Let us assume we are operating for one shift. And we know that in a usual scenario, one shift consists of 8 hours of duty time. So 8 hours, if you want to convert it into minutes, this would be 8 hours multiplied by 60 going to be 480 minutes, okay. So you have total available time of 480 minutes in a shift. Now subtracted by downtime, what is downtime? So downtime is negative time, which means that time lost in breakdown of machine, various repair, changeovers and adjustment and setup, these are all losses, okay. These are not good for processes. So when you have higher breakdown, higher repair and changeover time, the machine is idle, machine is waiting for production to happen, okay. So these are basically losses. So available time which is 480 minutes subtracted by the lost time that is down time divided by again available time will lead to availability. And this will be calculated in percentage. So the result would be availability in some percentage. Let us assume this is 60 percent, okay. Now let us move ahead. The next element is performance efficiency. So performance efficiency can be calculated in two ways. So let us talk about the first one. Uh, the performance efficiency is running time minus performance loss divided by again running time or operating time, okay. This can be also calculated by this formula that is performance efficiency is standard cycle time. So this standard cycle time is typically uh, during the new product development or product development or if you are following APQP that is advanced product quality planning process. So during the APQP process you generally establish the cycle time. So that cycle time which is the established cycle time multiplied by quantity of the part produced divided by your running or operating time. So this will be equal to your performance efficiency and this is also going to be in percentage again. So all the three matrices you are going to calculate in percentage and multiplication of that would be again OE in percentage. So now let us understand the individual element that is running time first. So what is running time? So running time is total time which we have already seen. Total time was how much? So here we have seen total time is uh, 480 minutes that is for one shift. So considering 480 minutes over here that is total time minus plan downtime plus downtime. So downtime we have already seen how uh, we can calculate the losses in the previous slide. So plan downtime would be uh, the time taken for the lunch time or uh, the tea breaks. So those can be summarized and uh, uh, you can add the downtime and plan downtime and start that with the total time to get your running time. Now what is performance losses? So there are some examples of performance losses like uh, uh, time lost in reduced speed, okay. Suppose uh, the machine should be running at X speed but you are not running at that speed, uh, you are running at a lower speed. So reduced speed or higher cycle time you are taking or minor stoppages 
in the production process or reduce yield. So these are called basically performance losses. So now you have got both the element that is running time and performance loss. Now you can calculate performance efficiency in percentage. The third element is quality. Okay, so how to calculate quality? So there are two ways. One way is to, uh, to calculate through time element, but we are not going to uh, go with that. Let us talk about the uh, simpler way that is uh, with quantity, which is uh, very comfortably can be calculated. Okay, so this is total quantity produced minus defective quantity or rejected quantity divided by again total quantity produced. Say for example, you have produced 600 parts and out of 600 parts, uh, 100 is defective. So 600 minus 100 divided by again total quantity produced that is 600. So this is going to be your percentage quality. Okay. The other way is through time. This is the more comfortable way and uh, in this way you can calculate both availability, performance and, and uh, quality. So we have got all the three elements. When you multiply all the three elements, you will be getting your OEE. Now let us see one example to calculate uh, OEE. So we have total time over here that is 480 minutes. This is uh, uh, 8 hours of 6 multiplied by 60. This is going to be 480. Okay. And available time, this will be 480 minus the plant downtime and plant downtime would be, you can add your break time, plant maintenance time and training time. Okay. So over here it is 480 minus uh, 1 hour of uh, all these uh, plant downtime. So this is coming around 420 minutes, that is our available time. So available time is total time minus plant downtime. So what is running time? So running time will be plant downtime minus downtime. And what exactly is downtime? So downtime would be the breakdowns, repair, changeover, adjustment and startup. So if you add all these uh, times, that is going to be your downtime. So subtract this downtime from plant downtime and you will be getting your running time. So let us assume the running time is 340 minutes over here. And what is productive time? Productive time is again downtime minus performance losses. So what are the performance losses? So losses are because of long cycle time, minus stoppages or reduced yield. Whatever time you are going to get, subtract that with the downtime, you will be getting your productive time. So let us assume that that is 70 minutes. So this is 340 minus 70 is 270 minutes. And finally comes the effective time. So what is effective time? Effective time is performance loss minus quality losses. So if you are going to calculate uh, this in terms of time, okay, so time spent in scrap, rework or rejection, whatever time the production was used for producing scrap. So the scrap quantity you need to convert them into time, if at all you want to calculate that in terms of timing. Okay. So performance loss time substarted by time uh, quality losses time, that is going to be your effective time. So now here assume that it is 250 minutes. So total loss over here would be available time minus effective time. So available time was uh, 420 minutes and uh, the effective time is 250. So 420 minus 250 is going to be 170 minute per shift. So that is our total losses in every shift. If we consider all these uh, types of losses over here, some are planned and some are unplanned. So considering all those calculations, we can see over here, the availability would be available time minus downtime divided by availability. And we've already seen the available time is 420 minutes. So 420 minus downtime that is 80 minutes divided by 420, this is going to be 81 percentage. So all these elements that is uh, availability, performance and quality, this is going to be calculated in percentage. You can see over here, uh, the based on the assumptions or the case study what we have taken over here, this is 81 percentage, performance is 79.4 percentage and quality is 92.6 percentage. So here the quality is also being cal uh, calculated in terms of time. You can also calculate in terms of quantity as well. I have shown you two uh, formulas. Okay. So performance formula is running time minus performance loss divided by running time. Okay. Put all the values, you have got 79.4 percentage. And quality also, if you put in terms of time, so productive time minus quality loss time divided by productive time, this is going to be 92.6 percentage. So you can see over here, 81 percentage multiplied by 79.4 percentage multiplied by 92.6 percentage coming to be 59.6 percentage. So you can see here so much of downfall if you multiply all the factors together that is OE. So OE is very bad over here 59.6 percentage 
Now the company needs to investigate and identify the gray areas. So over here we can see this is the worst part that is the performance and the second area is availability. Okay. So company needs to now investigate where we have problems, why it is there. So you must be having some data bank with you. You need to analyze them and you need to initiate actions. So I hope that uh, you must have understood what exactly is OE and how to calculate. This is just a small video for uh, making you understand about the broad level concept of OE. If you want to explore the subject in more details, we have exclusive course on OE wherein we have discussed about each and every element in detail with examples and multiple case studies and uh, we have also uh, done the exercises in uh, the formats. The format would be also shared with you. It is an online course and you can study the course at the convenient of your home and you can also appear for examination from home only and you will be getting the certificate after successful completion of the test at your home address or office address. So do not forget to explore our online training come certification program. Uh, do download our app from uh, uh, Android uh, store and iOS store uh, with the name of Quality Hub India. There are more than 100 plus courses available in Hindi and English. You can choose the course in your preferred language and study at the convenient of your home. Globally recognized and accredited courses at reasonable charges and you will be also getting every week live doubt clearing session for one entire year. In case of any query, do not hesitate to contact us. And if you want any kind of training, consulting or certification program for your company, you can also approach us. We have a pool of expert consultant with us and we can serve at any part of the globe. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and if you like the video, uh, write your comment and share the link of the video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn something and they can also grow in their career. Bye for now, take care and see you in next video. Jai Hind.